Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're taking a look at color theory. This picture here shows the additive color theory, shows how different colors of light can mix together to produce other colors of light. So we have a couple learning goals here today. You should be able to describe how the primary colors of light combine to make white light and other colors, and you should be able to describe how materials differentially absorb or reflect light to produce different colors. So let's take a look at our additive color theory. There are three primary colors of light, red, green, and blue. So those are the three primary colors of light. If only one color is present, we see that color. So if only red light is present, then we see red. If two or more colors are present, they add together to make the secondary colors. And our secondary colors are cyan, which is like a bluish green color, magenta, which is like a pinkish purple color, and yellow. So those are our three secondary colors. And in fact, if we combined red, green, and blue, all three of our primary colors together, we get white light. So the white light that we see around us is actually made up of the three primary colors. Now if you take a look at that diagram there, you can see how we get our secondary colors. I said cyan, magenta, and yellow were the secondary colors. Well we can see green and blue combine together to make cyan, red and blue combine together to make magenta, and red and green combine together to make yellow. So that's how we get those other colors. Let's take a look at the subtractive color theory now. Objects absorb some colors of light and they reflect other colors. We can only see reflected colors. So if a color of light is absorbed, we no longer see that color. It's subtracted from the colors that we are able to see. The colors of light that are reflected, they get reflected into our eyes and we're able to see them. So here's a picture here that shows how that happens. There's white light, which is made of red, green, and blue and it comes in towards a pair of jeans. The red light and the green light are absorbed, so they're subtracted. The blue light is reflected. Since only blue is reflected, that is the color that gets reflected into our eyeballs, so that is the color that we actually see. So those jeans look the color blue. When, oops, uh, colors that are absorbed and subtracted Colors that are absorbed and subtracted from white light is part of the subtractive color theory. So if colors are absorbed or colors that are subtracted affect whether or not we're going to see an object as a certain color. When two colors are absorbed, we see the remaining color. When one color is absorbed, the other two colors combine using that color uh, Venn diagram that we saw using the additive color theory. So there's our Venn diagram that we use to figure out which colors we'll see. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of how this works. So let's take a look at the very first one on the top left there. If we have something that's red. So red, green, and blue light uh, enter towards that object. So remember, white light is made of red, green, and blue. So this is white light coming towards the object. If it's an object that looks red, only red light is reflected. Remember, we see the color of light that is reflected. If it's red, that is the color that's reflected, and the green and blue are absorbed. If we have something that's green, again, red, green, and blue light that make up white light come in towards it. This time, the green light is reflected, and the other two are absorbed, and that's why it looks green. And finally, if we have white light made of red, green, and blue that comes towards a blue object, only blue is reflected and the other two are absorbed, so we can't see them. Now let's take a look at what happens when we see colors that are the secondary colors. If we have yellow, red, green, and blue light come in towards the object. Now in this case, two colors of light are going to be reflected. The red and the green are reflected and the blue is absorbed. Blue is absorbed, which means we get rid of it. The red and the green are reflected. And we know from our Venn diagram that red and green put together make yellow. So that's why the object looks yellow. In the next example, we have the white light coming in towards the object. Again, one color is going to be absorbed and two will be reflected. 
Here, the, uh, the red is absorbed, so we don't see anything with red, but the green and blue are reflected. We know from our Venn diagram that green and blue put together make cyan, so the object looks cyan. Finally, for the magenta, we have the white light coming in towards the magenta. Again, one color is absorbed and two are reflected. Here, the blue and the red are reflected and the green is absorbed. We don't see anything with green because it's absorbed, but the red and blue, if we combine those together from our Venn diagram, it makes magenta. Here, if we see something that's white, we have white light coming in, red, green, and blue, and all three colors are reflected because when red, green, and blue combine together, we know from our Venn diagram that that makes the color white. So a white object actually has all three colors reflected. A black object has all three colors of light coming in, but it has no colors of light coming off. So all of the light is absorbed and none of it was reflected, which is why it looks black. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe how the primary colors of light combine to make white light and other colors. And you should be able to describe how materials differentially absorb or reflect light to produce different colors. If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please rewatch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.